Hi, my name is Lara Jean Korostecki and welcome to my Toro Woman photo shoot. I am an actress from Brampton, Ontario. I was born and raised there and I started my career when I was 17 at the Stratford Shakespeare Festival. And then I took off to England after four years with the festival and lived in London, England for a while, did my masters in classical acting, so I have a bit of a love for the Bard. And then I came back and I've been doing film and TV. So today's looks, we kind of did a, a bit of a nod to the 1930s, as you can see from the gorgeous hair. And I would say it's really different for me. It's something that I love to kind of explore, certainly in red carpet territory. But day to day, it's really fun to be in a luxurious place like this and dress up in this way that kind of evokes a more sultry attitude where sometimes I'd say I'm a, I'm a little more silly. I'm a pajamas girl and this is a lot more elegant. I think so. I think fearless for sure. You have to have thick skin and you have to really be able to put yourself out there without worrying kind of about what other people think. My dad was wonderful growing up. Every single thing that I would do, his number one thing was always just have fun. It wasn't do your best. I mean, of course that's important, but it was always have fun because as soon as you stop having fun at this job, I think all the other stuff's gonna come crashing in. And curiosity, I think you can't be an actor without curiosity because I think being an actor means having a curiosity about the human condition because why else would you wanna be playing all these parts? I wanna know everything I can. I still, in fact, I go to um, Ryerson University still right now for English literature because my curiosity just won't stop. So I want to keep learning and keep growing at every opportunity possible. Going off impulse and calling yourself a carrot sometimes like I did today, but definitely going off impulse and just letting yourself be, be a kid and have fun because uh, you have no choice but to get older, but you have a choice about growing up. Yeah, my recent work, two of the most recent projects I did were period pieces uh, with very rich vocabulary and then two of the modern pieces I did, uh, Freddie is of course a journalist and Brian writes her some excellent, really rich photography and uh, Sally in Please Kill Mr. Know-It-All is also a journalist who is in love with words and in love with random facts and I think it's a coincidence perhaps but there's got to be something in the universe that kind of draws you to things and leads you to the path you need to be on and I certainly have a love for words and I love to write poetry and anything involving kind of really getting into the, the vocabulary and how we express ourselves through words is really exciting to me. You know what's weird? You just asked me what my favorite word was and the first thing I thought was what was my least favorite word, which is cluster. I don't like the word cluster at all. And now I'm distracted by that. What was, what was your other question? <laughs> Okay, my favorite word, my least favorite word is cluster, and my favorite word right now is paprikash for some reason. I don't know why that went in my head and I don't know if it's even a word. Pap oh, I was thinking of When Harry Met Sally, paprikash is from pap paprikash, is that what he says? Anyway, pecan, paprikash, something with a P right now I'm really enjoying. Three random or essential things people need to know about me. Um, I really like cats. I have two. One of them has one eye because she had cancer, sadly, but she's a cancer survivor five years now. I played hockey for one year when I was 10 years old and I was the only girl in the entire boys league. So that was a pretty proud moment. I had pink, pink uh, laces on my skates. And essential things to know, I'm half Polish, half Scottish, and all Canadian. That's it.